Hey Libra, welcome to your bonus reading for basically your birthday season. Um, if you have Libra in your chart anywhere, it doesn't just have to be your sun sign, um, then this reading could be for you if you feel like there's a message here for you. Um, yeah, these are the ways I'm going to do sign readings for um, each season. So we're in Libra season right now as I'm recording this. Um, but it is kind of timeless whenever you kind of come across it, you can check it out. Um, and I'm going to be doing this, like I said, for each of the 12 signs as we enter the seasons of them. So, um, yeah, I did a bit of a vote and this was kind of the way that we figured would be the easiest to kind of give you sign pick a card reads. So we have three piles. We have pile number one here with this amethyst crystal. We have pile number two with this rose quartz heart crystal. And then we have pile number three, and I cannot remember what crystal this is, but it is a darker, a darker color. It might even be like a dark green. So take your time to intuitively choose which one you feel the most drawn to. Timestamps will be down below for you. If you need to pause this video, feel free to um, while you choose. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in your reading. All right, pile number one for Libra. Um, while I was kind of sitting in your energy a little bit, I was feeling this sense of like a heaviness um, and almost like this feeling of being pulled in a certain kind of direction. Like it was very subtle, but it was like starting to kind of almost like increase. Um, so you could be experiencing that a little bit. Again, if you chose this pile, you chose the amethyst crystal. I'm going to do this pick a card a little bit different for those of you who have watched my pick a cards before. I'm We're going to look at the um, oracles at the end, but I'm just going to kind of freestyle this, these readings. I've been feeling to just kind of do them in a different manner. Usually I do them kind of a little bit structured, but let's see, pile one Libra, what do they need to know for right now? the Emperor. Pile one Libra. It's their message. Six of Pentacles. Let's see. All right, and we also have the Six of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, and the Five of Cups. Okay, so pile one for you guys. There's kind of this feeling of like, definitely wanting to have some level of success. I feel like there's, um, Like there's a little bit of being unsure. There might be someone with this king, or sorry, with this emperor and the six of pentacles, there may be someone in your environment or someone kind of somehow involved in your energy right now that can help you in something. Okay, they can be of some sort of assistance to get you through a situation here. Because whether there is two sixes here, six of pentacles, six of wands. And it's interesting as well with this five of pentacles, it's like there's this energy of um, like growth, right? Like there's a sense of someone being able to help you kind of get out of a, a situation here or a challenging situation or just one with a sense of lack. Now, this could also be just yourself pulling yourself out of this situation. Um I also kind of feel like there, you could be like, I was getting this heaviness in the beginning and I almost feel like some of you could be going through like a lower period um, when it comes to your, like how you're feeling about progress that you're making or like I almost am getting like there's highs and lows that you kind of go through, like an ebb and a flow of your energy. And so you might be feeling a little bit like lost and confused almost right now and not feeling like you have 
almost like what you need to be successful at this point in time. Now with that, I do feel, like I said, there's either a person here who's gonna help you come out of that energy or there's this sense of you pulling yourself out of this energy so your energy kind of like shifting a little bit. Um, so I feel like there could be a sense of this like lower, lower type of energy. We have the death card at the bottom. So there could be this sense of um, an ending of some sort or a transformation or just this change that you're going through that is maybe kind of sending your, like bringing your energy into this kind of like interesting space. Like again, just like this ebb and this flow or maybe there's been a change that has kind of like made you question a direction or just like not be as clear. What else for group one Libra? What else do they need to know? Yeah, King of Pentacles, it's funny because I said King before, so. So this could be someone who could help you financially somehow. Yeah, Ten of Swords and the Fool. There's kind of this like ending transformation, kind of this like feeling like almost feeling defeated, but there's something that is sh gonna shift though with this fool energy, like you're coming out of this. And again, it may come through a person. Now for some of you, you're ending a situation with a person or um, this could even be like a boss, a career. We do have the four of cups here at the bottom of the deck. So there's this sense of like feeling a little, um, yeah, just like kind of down, like not feeling emotionally kind of just feeling almost like emotionally disconnected is what I'm getting like there's kind of this feeling of just this like lower vibe not in like a negative way but just kind of like you're going through a lower period um, again it could just be a more challenging period for you right now but there's this sense of um, help tell me about this like help or this like redirection it's kind of what it feels like yeah like a redirection Me more about this help, this redirection here. Six of Cups, interesting. We have the King of Wands, the world, Queen of Wands. Yeah, some of you are like ending one situation and a different situation is kind of coming in. Three of Wands, Ten of Cups, six, sorry, Nine of Swords. So for some of you as well, like you could have had a, you could have closed out a chapter with a old relationship. Okay. I see that. And like maybe questioning then what's coming in, or are you going to have your 10 of cups situation? Okay. I feel like there's someone more stable with the King of Pentacles emperor coming in who is going to give equally here. Okay. So if you're doubting your love life or you're just questioning your love life right now, I feel like there's kind of this shift. You've completed some sort of chapter here though. And then now you're stepping into this new one with, I feel like this King of Pentacles and the Emperor, this King of Wands, I feel like is something you were involved in or already a part of. Again, whether it's a love relationship or just a partnership or a job, something that at one point Six of Cups felt good, but now there's kind of this, um, there's something that has, you know, it's become stressful. But I think with this Three of Wands, Ten of Cups, you're almost like more of the stress is more about like whether you're going to have the type of relationship that you're, that you're looking for. Yeah, we have King of Cups here. So there's emotions um, right now. And look, there's that Six of Swords I was saying behind the, the King of Cups. So you're heading towards someone who's a more emotionally maybe available or just more mature in general, um, or just in a situation, it's like a, a situation, if it's like a job, it's like a situation that's more stable, more, um, more secure, and also just like treats you better or gives you what you deserve. So you may feel like you're kind of going through a bit of a lull right now when it comes to your energy, like, but things I feel like are going to be shifting. Um, let's see what your oracles are. We have number 10, jewel within a teardrop, appreciation, spiritual and emotional reconnection. Yeah, I feel like this is a little bit of the, um, 
appreciation that's coming in here. Some of you are just still kind of going through a little bit of a reconnecting to yourself, what's important, what do you value, what are you honoring, right? Those types of um, things, like you're just kind of in this process of reevaluating. We also have dive deep, yeah, kind of that like spiritual aspect here, and then creation with water. So there's definitely something around your emotions um, and kind of gaining control over them. But I do feel like you're kind of stepping into this newer energy, creating this new energy in your life or stepping into this new energy in your life. There's, for some of you, if you're feeling kind of lost or disconnected, I feel like ta like going deep within yourself, your emotions, tapping back into like your intuition, your just your feelings as well around what it is that you want to have in your life, right? Be Get reconnected to your goals, your dreams, just what it is that you're looking for. What is your heart? want right what is your heart yearning for because i almost feel like um some of you just don't feel appreciated and i feel like it's the past that's influencing that because the new thing almost feels like it's yet to come in or it's if it's come in it's still very new we have the challenger your relationships could be challenging you in a very painful way yeah so for some of these it's definitely love and relationships and we have soul contracts. Before you were born, you agreed to partake in specific experiences that assist in the evolution of your soul. So most of our experiences that we encounter here on earth, <laughs> um, we have kind of in a weird way agreed to experiencing that and learning from those lessons. Um, and usually we'll keep experiencing them until um, we have learned the lesson, right? So that is different for everyone. Sometimes it only takes one, one time to go through an experience and we're like never doing that again, right? Other times it's, it's multiple until we kind of like truly have the clarity and see the truth. Um, so some of you are just still doing some deeper healing work around um, this kind of transformation, this change, this ending that you're going through. Um, but I do feel like there's a situation or a person that's going to be coming towards you that is going to help you come out of this energy and is going to make you feel appreciated, right? I had said that before and it came out in this card and you're going to feel very connected, I feel. I feel like this will be a deeper connection, a more stable connection, more grounded and somebody who supports you. Okay, so you may have had to go through this challenging situation in order to be ready for this new situation, in order to be ready for... You know, like you had to learn the lesson of the past in order to step into a newer energy to be like, I want something different. I need something different. So things are going to get better, even if you're in this challenging energy. Okay. But I think it's just making sure that you're doing your own emotional healing work um, and physical healing work, spiritual healing work, whatever, um, to kind of process things and this emperor this king of pentacles is going to show up once i feel like you've maybe released the past or at least um it's not so stressful or challenging or on your mind as much um some of you this person may come in actually to help take your mind off of this other person or this other situation but there will still be this healing or this grieving process almost of around this previous situation However, I do see you moving from one chapter to the next. So that is pretty much what I have for you, group one. Hopefully that resonates. Let me know down below. If not, um, you can check out a different pile or even just any of the Libra readings that I've been doing um, individually on my channel. Um, but I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Hi, pile number two, Libras. Welcome. Um, this is going to be your reading. If you chose this pile, you chose this red uh sorry this rose quartz heart crystal um it is pink not red um we are gonna see what's going on i'm gonna do a little bit of a different style here um kind of more freestyle i guess more intuitive type of messages i did kind of sit with your energy before um starting this so i was kind of getting this like a very calm energy but also I was getting this feeling like my eyes were very focused on something. So you may have a strong 
strong focus. I actually was seeing the color red, so it's interesting that I wanted to say that was a red color. Um, so to me, the red was indicating like desire or passion or just, yeah, like a strong um, feeling being called to something here. So we have the Page of Pentacles and we have the High Priestess. Yeah, it's like a focus. So you could be like focusing on starting something new or learning something new with this Page of Pentacles. Um, I feel like you're not really looking for any sort of like a distraction. Oh boy. Yeah, with the devil. Like not looking for any sort of like temptation or not wanting temptation, right? Trying to stay away from distractions here. I also feel like this sense of trying to free yourself from limiting things, uh, whether that's people, behaviors. We have the Ten of Cups. We also have the King of Pentacles here. Some of you are definitely very focused on a goal. Uh, the devil energy as well, like this card definitely makes me feel like a, like a sense of feeling trapped. However, the devil card is also earth energy, it's Capricorn energy. And it does remind me or give me this sense of like feeling, um, you know, very uh, like, again, that intensity, that focus towards something that I almost feel like you're trying, you're starting, you are beginning, you're learning. Um, but there's a strong kind of like desire, right, to move in a, in a direction that you see as a wish fulfillment. Now, this could be a person for sure. If it's a person, it's someone you're, you're getting to know. But I actually feel like this is not so much love for some of you because I actually see with this high priestess, this focus on, you know, being very, um, not secretive, but just to yourself. We have the Ace of Wands. So again, there's that desire, that's that passion that you have. The Emperor. How to Libra. Ten of Swords. We have the Queen of Cups here with this Ten of Swords. I was clarifying. Yeah, Four of Swords. So some of you are healing. Um, some of you, definitely I feel like this pursuit, this pursuit of, um, this pursuit of a desire, this pursuit, pursuit of a passion um, that you have your eye on. I feel like there's a lot of... Um, it's interesting, there's, there's with the feminine energy here, we have the High Priestess and the Queen of Cups. So there's this very strong sense of like, um, like your intuition, your emotions. I feel like you're, potentially for some of you, if you've gone through some sort of challenge emotionally, you just might be on this sense of focusing more on like your actions, where you're taking action right now. You might not be so focused on love or new connections or anything like that. You might just be kind of, um, those things might just kind of be like at bay or it's just not a focus right now for you. This Ace of Wands, this masculine energy with the Emperor, the King of Pentacles, I feel like there's this sense of um, pursuing a goal, a dream, something that you're excited to learn about, something that you're excited to bring into um, your world here. While your feminine, more feminine nurturing side is kind of like healing. And we kind of go... Um, we kind of, usually we kind of, ultimately there's like a balanced approach, right, of masculine and feminine, but there's, there is kind of this, um, usually you're kind of taking action from one of the two places, right? Um, I feel like your feminine side is just trying to heal, just trying to nurture. What else does pile two Libra need to know? Yeah, King of Cups. Eight of Cups and the Four of Wands. Emotionally, you're kind of detached right now. You are trying to manifest some 
something here, this Four of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, like investing your time and energy to bring in some sort of achievement here. Some of you could be also looking at relocating and moving. Um, if there has been any sort of like a, a breakup here, some of you could have moved out or could be thinking of moving out or just detaching from this relationship. Like I just feel like emotionally you're maybe not in this space of... Um, you're more trying to walk away and let go of an emotion versus trying to connect with someone. And therefore, I almost feel like your focus is on something external to love relationships. With that being said, intuition right now, I feel like is very much on point. This also could be something that's going to shift for you. Um, Eight of Cups is like eclipse energy and... Um, we do have eclipses as I'm recording this. We'll have eclipses at the end of the month and then also in November. So um, there could be something that shifts here for you. But there's a start of something new when it comes to what your focus is on. Give me more on this Page of Pentacles and this Ace of Wands for Group 2 of what it is that they're working on, that they're in inspired about. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles, that's where your focus is for sure. Yeah, Six of Swords. Almost like trying to get something off the ground, trying to get something um, moving. You could have a lot of ideas, Four of Swords and the Seven of Cups, like a lot of ideas, a lot of different places that maybe you want to take things. I feel as though intuitively you've been guided towards this new thing, this new exciting endeavor or this like inspiration, this passion. It could be something creative as well. But there's kind of this sense of, um, with the two sevens here, I also have the six of swords, which is always to me being like guided or moving out of a, a challenging situation. For some of you, this, fo this focus on this is helping you, like I said, heal. Um, and I, that's where I almost feel like this high priestess, it's like intuitively you've been guided towards this, but also from a sense of um, your emotional, space and just like you're just trying to detach it's it's sending you kind of into an isolation type of energy but in a healthy way because I don't feel like you're neglecting the healing part of this other situation um, the seven of pentacles makes me feel like you are on your way like you will reap some sort of reward or a sense of like the effort that you're putting into this, I feel like you will receive. Um, emotionally though, I do feel like you're kind of going through this sense, this place of like healing. Mentally though, I do feel with the Six of Swords and the Four of Swords, those are both really, um, those are two of my favorite, other than the Ace of Swords, those are two of my favorite sword energies because it, it indicates there's a sense of peace of mind versus this Ten of Swords. So I feel like there's there's growth, there's healing with regards to um, just your mind and your emotions and where you're kind of at. So let's see what the Oracles have. We have Tree of Life, number one, Fertility, Creativity, Destiny, and Magical Blessings. Yeah, I feel like that's this Ace of Wands, um, Page of Pentacles. It's like there's kind of this new exciting thing coming towards you or just this creativity that you have, this spark, this inspiration, and it's destined for you to experience. It's something that you feel guided towards. Um, it, it could also be very therapeutic and very healing for you to, um, to do as well. Yeah, we have light. We also have 30 uh, with bravery and ocean. So yeah, you're being brave and kind of facing your emotions here. Um, I feel like you're just trying to roll through them. You're just trying to keep moving, keep moving, not try to get too caught up in your emotions, but you are facing them. Like I said, I don't feel like you're trying to ignore them or that this thing that's come to your awareness is like, a dis like it's a distraction, but in a healthy way. It's something where you can channel that energy and passion and just bring positivity into your life while also facing some of the deeper emotions here and possibly like turbulent ups and down emotions. We have expansion number 23. You are getting ready to move up to higher levels of awareness through embracing your life experiences. So that to me just indicates there's a sense of growth here. 
We have purging process number 54. You may be currently experiencing emotional discomfort that is disrupting your inner peace, definitely. But again, I feel like you're working through that, so that is the positive side of that. And then we have follow the signs, number eight. Look at your, look around for your clues. The answer your, to your question is right in front of you. So I just feel like this is, again, tapping into that intuitive part of yourself. Um, as well as, you know, just kind of like paying attention to these these things that light you up, these things that you want to expand within or upon. Um, follow those feelings, follow those kind of that instinctual type of um, vibe. So I do feel like there's a focus, there's kind of this passion, this desire that you have that you're very focused on. Um, while also healing and purging some old emotional or just emotional things and healing from those things kind of like in the background. So I feel like more of your focus is on this new thing and I feel like it's gonna bring a lot of expansion and growth and just happiness into your life. Um, even if it's not like a material gain, it's just something that is going to improve your life um, positively. So. That is pretty much what I have for you, group number two. Hopefully that resonates. Let me know down below. If not, you can check out any of the other piles. You can also check out any of the Libra readings on my channel. Um, I do them bi-monthly as well as um, weekly all signs. So check those out as well as any other pick a cards. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching, liking, and subscribing, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Hi, pile number three. Welcome. Um, if you chose this pile, you chose this darker crystal. Again, I'm not sure what it is. Can't remember. Um, this is going to be for you, Libras. Um, pile number three. We're going to do this a little differently compared to typically how I do my pick of cards. It's going to be kind of a more of a freestyle. So take what resonates, obviously, leave the rest. Um, we're going to look at the oracles at the end, but we are going to pull some tarot here first. I kind of sat with your energy a little bit and I was getting this image of, um, I was getting this image like I was, it was like it was from my own eyes. Um, so I was standing and looking at this and there was like this row of fire kind of like on the ground, but in front of me and almost like blocking my view and kind of in this, this feeling of like, feeling protected or just like blocked almost from the other side what was on the other side so i'm not that sure if this is like a protective field that you've kind of put up for some of you i was getting that it's like it could be the fire could be representing like your anger or your temperament and it's like a wall or a, a block that you're kind of putting up and how you're um just how, how you're maybe dealing with situations or people in your life right now where you might be almost like a little testy and it could be because you're in this protective almost like survival type of energy um so yeah there's kind of this intensity but it's it's also it felt very protective so we'll see what that is about what's going on for a pile th uh, three libras here what do they need to know what's the message for them pile three libras okay i'm gonna take these we have the page of swords we have the sun the magician and the four of pentacles interesting So you're seeing something clearly, like there's a sense of, um, yeah, it's interesting. So there is this um, feeling of protection here with this four pentacles. <clears throat> her energy feels like when I look at the card, her energy feels very standoffish. Um, I'll kind of bring it up here so you guys can see, but she feels kind of almost like, almost like a queen of swords where she's like, don't come too close to me because like, I'm not messing around. I'm not playing. So I don't know if you've got a new idea or you're trying to create something and you're trying to, like, protect yourself. You may also really be trying to protect your energy. With the sun here, it's a very positive card. And I feel as though if you're in the sun energy, you might be very protective over who you're letting into your space, who you're letting into your energy because of this. Um... 
like really not ve being very cautious of like almost who you're engaging with and who you let into your space because I with this eight of swords at the bottom there's this sense of maybe feeling like um, I'm not gonna let people get in my head I'm very clear right now I'm very focused on creating or just making changes in my life and I don't need people to come in and disrupt that okay so there's very much this like not wanting to again feel blocked and restricted we have the two wands with the devil here that's come out we have the four of cups it just feels like you're not wanting other people's input you're not wanting other people's um restriction yeah two of cups we have the king of cups and the knight of cups there definitely could be someone or, or like from a relationship perspective or just people in general there may be people who do want to connect with you i just think you're being very cautious you're not wanting toxic energy so even if this is on a platonic level you're very much like kind of like questioning or contemplating the people that are coming towards you if it's a new relationship or a new person i just feel like you've got a little bit of a guard up it's a protective guard it's not um it's not coming from a negative space i just feel as though i think you've maybe been in situations with the devil energy here that have just not served your path and your future and you're very clear and you very much see that so you're just not wanting to go back into that type of energy here like again i'm getting this like strong like some of you may have a fire placement um i actually feel in a weird way you're manifesting this or you're wanting a connection like you're wanting to connect with people it's not like you don't want to connect with anyone at all it just want, you want them to be people who are on the same page as you the right types of connections people who are emotionally connected and available but also are their own people and there's like not this like codependent type of energy what else for group three libras yeah ace of swords at the bottom of the deck we also have the ace of wands so a lot of you want to start fresh you want to start new we have the knight of wands we have the eight of wands the eight of pentacles and the chariot you want someone who is going to want to build um someone who's going in the same direction as you I feel like you're very determined to also build upon and just progress and improve your life. Um, and that's where there's this energy of just not wanting to engage with people who aren't on that path. That's what it feels like. Not wanting to engage with people who are on a path of, <laughs> I heard, destruction. So... You want this passion, you want this inspiration, you have this fiery nature to you, I feel, but there's also like, who can I build with? Who can I move forward with? Who's gonna be able to overcome obstacles and challenges with me and um, wants to have victory and success? Like you're building for victory and success in your relationships, in your personal life, in your career. And so there's a strong sense of clarity on your end about what it is that you're looking for and what it is that you want which is making you almost like very discerning or very again like a guarded type of energy but in almost in a let me see how this person engages let me see how this person is before i get too attached so definitely this sense of um yeah just like protecting yourself and I do feel like there's a person who is potentially coming into your energy which is like I don't want to say you're testing them because that sounds toxic <laughs> but it's like you're you're letting this person show you with their actions not just like things they say or they're you know following like emotions and how and the feeling right? like you're trying to make sure that you're making the right decisions what are what is this person's actions are they putting in the effort the time and the energy or are they just saying things that's kind of what it feels like so 
again, there's just this very discerning energy here um, for you, Pile 3, which is great. I think that that's wonderful. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. If anything, that's awesome. <laughs> So we have Enchanted Forest, number 27, Mystery, Magic, and Excitement. Okay, so you may be feeling, um, again, I feel like there's like a newer energy, you're looking for new energy, and you're kind of, you are excited to see where things are going to go. Um, and I, I do feel like there's this strong manifestation energy here, because we did have the Magician. We also have number 25, Liberation, Breaking Free from Negative Attachment. Yeah, definitely, like I was talking about, just not wanting to engage with lower vibrational people we have number 22 sacred journey life cycles family and transformation so yeah your relationship sector it i feel like is definitely taking a transformative um like a change here i think the way that you're allowing people to come into your life is probably quite different this is probably a journey that you've been on learning these things um working with the different just energies that and, and just understanding people a little bit more and seeing their true motives versus um, you know, kind of just engaging with people just to engage, you know. Um, we have magic. So yeah, look at that with Enchanted Forest. Definitely the magician energy here. There's that ignition, fire, eight, number eight. There's definitely a new spark. But I think you're just trying to figure out, is this the path that I see for myself? Is this person or this situation in alignment with where I am going and again you're being very protective about whether you engage in this or not because you want to make sure it's on the right path for you and then we have number 37 dream come true your dreams are coming true because you stay true to your heart's desire so this is i feel like your the standards that you hold um or that you are holding and just kind of even like the um just like Again, what you allow into your life and what you don't allow into your life, you know? So I like this because it's like you're being very discerning and, and by doing that, you're getting what it is that you desire to have, which is great. I hope everybody experiences that. Um, I feel like the only, the only like caution here would just be like making sure that you're not being too closed off and that you are just being discerning and you're not like completely shutting people out or shutting things down right off the bat because you think that there might be something like them coming in with a poor intention right give it time see where it goes and maybe even just communicate eight of wands right communicate with these people or this situation to clearly discern what is their intention you'll be able to know when you ask i mean they'll tell you even if they're lying to you they'll tell you because you'll be able to see right through it so that is what I have for you, group three. Hopefully that resonates. Let me know down below. If not, you can check out any of the other piles or just a different Libra reading. Um, thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.